Hey YouTube. Today we'll be doing a comparison between the two primary handguns of Resident Evil 2, the HK VP70 and the FN Browning High Power. Which the VP70 being Leon Kennedy's handgun and the Browning High Power being Claire's handgun and also the standard sidearm of the Raccoon City Police Department. First we'll do the VP70. And for simplicity's sake, they're both unloaded already. The VP70, you get an 18 round magazine that is removed using a European style heel release. The sights. Striker fire 9mm with a push button safety and has double action capability and a polymer frame with a uh, steel slide and barrel of course and of course Leon's version he has the M variant which has a detachable shoulder stock with the ability to select between semi-automatic and three round bursts which this one's the Z which is the civilian version And as for Claire's handgun and the rest Raccoon City Police Department, it's also a 9mm with 13 and 15 round flush fitting magazines that drop with a push button release. And it's hammer fired, which I can't fire without the magazine in it. And single action only with a thumb safety. Three dot sights and has a slide lock back, which the VP70 does not have. Look at the between the two the VP70 holds 18 rounds while. Standard magazines for the Browning High Power 13, so the VP70 does have it be in capacity. However, the Browning High Power does have the VP70 be in reloading, as it's much faster to simply push a button, drop the magazine, and put a new one in than it is to pull a magazine out of the VP70 and then insert a new one. The VP70, on the other hand, does have double strike capability, so if the round you have loaded in here does not fire, because if it's a bad primer you can pull the trigger again and it might fire while the high power you would have to recock the hammer or rack the slide and just get rid of it all together high power sights are a little bit easier to use especially in lower light conditions than the uh bp70s which somewhat rely on light to create the illusion of a front sight The VP70 is more corrosion resistant than the high power due to its polymer frame though. While this one it can rust, although it's not as much of a consideration as far as Raccoon City and Resident Evil is concerned. However, the VP70, as, as is always known, has a really terrible trigger compared to the Brian High Power, which once you get rid of the magazine disconnect, it actually has a much better trigger, although even with the magazine disconnect, it is still a superior trigger to the VP70. And I don't have a scale, but it feels as though the high power is heavier than the VP70, mostly due to the frame. Although the high power is smaller than the VP70 size wise. Mostly because the VP70 is a much taller handgun. And also, uh, it's more of a preference thing, but the VP70 grip doesn't feel quite as comfortable in my hand as the. Browning High Powers does, but that's more of a preference thing than it is a purely objective function of the firearm. The same as reliability, both of these are also very reliable, so reliability isn't too huge a worry between both of these. 
So since uh, this will shoot pretty much anything you put in it, because it's almost basically a blowback, so it doesn't really care what you throw in there, as long as it's part of to cycle the slide. Well, the high power is generally pretty reliable, although occasionally steel case hangs up in this particular one. And as far as the assembly goes, both these are pretty simple. I'm not really going to cover it in this particular video. You can watch in the regular reviews of the disassembly of these two handguns. Flip them over. Look at the other side, just because it's something different to look at. Actually, that one we've been looking at for a while, so... Yeah, top quality production in my videos. <laughs> Why Raccoon Seed Police aren't with the Browning High Powers? I'm not 100% sure either. They were an early adopter of semi auto pistols in American law enforcement. Or maybe Chief Irons got a sweet deal on some surplus high powers. I don't know. And why Leon chose the VP70M as his handgun, I have no clue. Considering it's one, an out of production handgun by that point. Two, since the M variant, I would assume it's probably one of the very small handful of transferable class 3 VP70s in the United States. Which would be also be an odd choice to have. And also, it's just not the greatest combat handgun in the world. Even at its inception, it's still not that impressive of a handgun other than the fact it's revolutionary technologically wise and also holds a lot of rounds it's about mostly what it has going for it that and it looks like a space gun when the hyper came out it's also pretty revolutionary being pretty much one of the only handguns with double stack magazines and a service caliber other than 32 such as a model produced by savage i think it held 10 rounds in a double stack magazine but it was 32 caliber if I'm remembering it correctly. But if I was stuck in Raccoon City, uh, I'd pick the high power out of these two. Man, I get a little bit less rounds per magazine, but I can reload it much faster. I can shoot more accurately than this with the VP-7. You know, the VP-7 technically is mechanically more accurate than the high power due to its fixed barrel. But the trigger defeats its accuracy for me. Compared to this one, where I could shoot this fairly competently compared to the VP70, which this one I really have to concentrate to keep most of the shots relatively a target this big. While this one I could usually get around this big. But, anyways. It's just a quick little video for a very, very brief comparison between these two handguns from Resident Evil 2. And sorry if I bored you at all, but just a quick little video for you guys. But uh, down in the comment section, tell me what you think would be your handgun in Resident Evil 2 if you're stuck there in real life. Maybe you might pick something interesting and carry this, or you can go with a third party option and pick one of the other many handguns available from that time period that appeared in the game, or games, I should say. But, anyway, thanks for stopping by and hope you have a nice day.